All right, so we're gonna talk about a drive belt and tensioner again on the M series machines. And uh, the reason we're gonna do that is I already got a belt, a belt replacement video. I'm gonna leave a link for right up here that you can go see we're just doing the belt. But a lot of people ask me, how do you do the tensioner itself? So that's what we're gonna look at. I do a lot of these, but it's so hard to film when it's inside the machine. So since I've got the engine outside the machine, let's go ahead and take a look at how we do the tensioner. So first thing we have to do is remove this belt cover here. Now we've already got the battery out of the machine, right? That's the first thing we gotta do is take the battery out and then we gotta get our belt cover off. So we got a little half inch screw here that we're gonna go ahead and remove. And once we get that off, this cover is gonna slide in this direction toward us when we're sitting back behind the machine. It's just got some slotted holes up here and the belt cover comes right off. Now again, we're kind of squeezing up in here in the side of the machine and here's our tensioner assembly here and we've got two bolts here. This is how we actually adjust the tensioner and this is actually remove the tensioner. And some machines are 18 millimeter, some machines are 19 millimeter. I always bring both wrenches with me when I walk down to a machine to do this job. So let's see what this one is. Uh, yeah, so this one's actually an 18. A lot of them are 19, so I always bring two wrenches, you never know. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and loosen the tensioner. And this belt's not broken, we're just going about how to do this. And, and normally the belt's gonna be broke if you're in here right, and you'll just pull out the old broken belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and re loosen both these bolts. Now this one right here is our spacer. This is what locks our tensioner in. You can see the tensioner uh, bracket right here fits around the actual tensioner arm and that's how we're going to raise up the tensioner. So now that I've got it loose using a half inch drive ratchet you'll see a little square hole on here. Um, older machines have a slotted hole but either way a half inch drive ratchet is going to fit right in there. See so I'm going to lift that tensioner up off the belt and that's how we're going to get our belt out. And I can actually you know just finger tight run this bolt back in and see that's going to hold the ten tensioner up. So let's go ahead and get our belt out of the way. All right, let's bring our tensioner back down. You can see where I'm just doing that by hand and then this way I can readjust my ratchet loosen it up again now i can bring now all the tension is off the tensioner itself let's go ahead and pull this bolt out and then here's our little spacer that goes in behind that now let's take out our center bolt Okay, since the engine's outside the machine, this bolt is just gonna slide right out. But that's not always gonna happen on your machine. Let's take a look at this other machine and show you the problems that you're gonna run into. So see your tensioner assembly is gonna be right up here. Sometimes when you try to push that bolt out, it's gonna hit these hoses or wiring harnesses. It's gonna be somewhere right around in here. You're always gonna hit something. And I don't normally have to take stuff loose. You might have to cut a zip tie or two and just pry this stuff out of your way until you can get this bolt to slide by whatever it is. It could be these metal tube lines. I guess it probably is up this high. You know, it could hit somewhere in there. Just pry this stuff out of your way and push this bolt all the way out. So now that we've got the bolt out of the tensioner, I like to use my pry bar. We'll see a big spring right here on the inside and you'll see it. And it does still have some tension on it. So. I always just use my pry bar and pry this whole assembly off. And here's our tensioner arm and tensioner wheel assembly. And a lot of times the bearings in this tensioner wheel assembly will be locked up or gone bad. So that's when we have to put a new wheel on this. We also want to inspect our tensioner arm itself. This is a UHMW bushing here. And we can see our, where our spring is really cutting into that bushing. This one's not too bad, but any worse than that, I would go ahead and replace this tensioner arm. I would get an arm and a tensioner wheel. I've never seen a bad spring, so I've never had to replace a spring 
Uh, of course, you can get the spring, but I've just never seen one bad, so I've never actually had to replace one. So let's go ahead and show you how I would take this wheel off. We'll put it back on, then I'll show you how I assemble the tensioner. All right, so to change the tensioner wheel, it just has one bolt going through it, and we're gonna use a three-quarter socket to take this bolt off. Now on the nut here, they usually have Loctite on, so it's really hard to get to. So on the actual bolt in, I like to use the um, my vise, and I'll just hold the bolt. In theory, I'll hold the bolt in the vise here. There we go. Now using my half inch drive impact. Now I've got my tensioner arm removed. And there's a spacer on any side of the ten on either side of the tensioner wheel. So I've got one on this side. All right? So like I said, there's nothing wrong with this one. This is how we're going to put it back together. So let's say this is our new wheel. We're just going to drop it right back on our bolt. Make sure our spacers on both sides. And bolt it right back down to the tensioner arm. Now, the new t this is a counterbalance weight that's on the end of the tensioner arm. Uh, the new tensioner arm is not going to come with that counterbalance. So if you replace your arm, you just got to swap this um, this balance weight over just using a little half inch socket. You'll just take this nut out and bolt it on the new tensioner arm. So now the trick is getting this back on, getting that spring back under the dial. So let's take a look at how I do that real quick. All right, so now I've got my spring back on my tensioner arm. We're going to slide it back over this big stud here on the engine now we can see that the top of the spring has to go under this dial pin right here. And sometimes you can just take your pry bar, pry this spring down and tuck it under this dial pin. It doesn't always go that easy that it just happened for me. So what I will do before I put my tensioner bracket back on, I'll go ahead and put my bolt in the tensioner arm and what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on that spring against that dial pin. So I will tighten this down a little bit. Now you can see the end of the spring is pushing against that dial pin real tight because I've tightened down this bolt. Not a lot, I'm just putting some pressure up against it. And then I can take my pry bar, pry down on that spring, and see it just pops right up underneath that roll pin. And that's the position it needs to be in. And then usually I can put my pry bar up in the machine somewhere and I can pry and just push this tensioner the rest of the way in. But what I'll do is I'll just run it down with my ratchet wrench. Now you can see this big stud, how it sticks through the tension arm a little bit. It's got to go through this hole right here. We got to make sure that our um, adjustment plate goes over that stud. We don't want it crooked and tighten up against it. It's got to go over the top of it like that. Get back up. Now that I got the tensioner bracket back on, I can usually reach my hand up in here and get this spacer back in back behind the tensioner plate.
we'll get that bolt started. Now you'll see in my uh, my belt replacement video, I've actually got tor torque specs for these bolts. But for this demonstration, click, click, that is torque to spec. Now we want to raise our tensioner up again, just like we did a few minutes ago. Let's bring it all the way to the top. And I can run that bolt in by hand. And just the friction of running that bolt in by hand will hold that tensioner wheel in the up position. And now we can feed our belt in. Paying close attention that the belt is engaged in all the grooves on the both the pump pulley and the crank pulley. And then again, a little tension on the plate, loosen this up and let the tensioner just come back down and spring onto the belt. And then we're actually going to put a torque spec on this. Um, on the tensioner, we're gonna pull up with our ratchet and that's pushing pressure down on the belt. Uh, I think that was 40 foot pounds. Um, but again, it, it's in my other video. So as I'm pulling up on this, click, click, that's 40 pounds. We're gonna tighten this bolt to lock it into place. And this is gonna have the same torque spec here. I believe it was 80 foot-pounds. Click, click. So now our belt is installed, new tensioner wheel is adjusted and torque to spec. So that's really all there is to it. So again, like I said, I, I didn't really do a full video on the actual tensioner replacement, and it's, it's that easy. Um, there are some different variations out there, but this covers the majority of all the M-Series machines. And you know, your support for this channel and the videos we do, the super thanks, man, it goes a long way to keep these videos coming out for you. So any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.